Firma RCM wita Państwa na kolejnej edycji Audio Show. Naszym gościem jest właściciel, projektant firmy Trax Audio. Hej, jestem uh, Roman Artarski, uh, owner and uh, designer of uh, Trax Audio. I jestem tutaj, żeby przedstawić Wam nasze nowe baby, który jest uh, aktywny bass section for the Lyra speaker, który prezentowaliśmy last year. What's uh, special about it is that it's a fully active uh, system. It features a 15-inch motional feedback controlled subwoofer system with a built-in crossover that uh, feeds the signal to the external power amp and the standard Lyra can be used as top for this subwoofer, turning the whole into a fully active three-way system. We designed the Lyra speaker initially as a monitor and it in the plans there was always been uh, to do a bass section for it. When we did some research and tried to design a passive bass section, we found a lot of uh, artifacts uh, that appear in the normal loudspeakers. We, one of them is uh, the very large delay in the uh, very low frequencies. It's due to a phase shift that occurs in the drive units. The arrangement with the lowest phase shift in group delay is uh, the sealed box. So the sealed box solution, unfortunately, is very inefficient. It needs about four times bigger box than a ported system for the same SPL. But it gives you a tightness and a quality to the bass that it's uh, very desirable. So our goal was to design a system that is compact, it can handle enough power and have the lowest phase shift possible. We did a lot of research and we found out that in the 60s and 70s, Philips were trying to do the same by using a motional feedback system based on a second voice coil in the drive unit that produces a signal that is used to compare the displacement and velocity and acceleration of the diaphragm to the incoming signal. Uh, we took further this research and um, we developed our own uh, electronics and system to drive it to a very, very gratifying result that you can experience. This uh, turntable is a product of uh, collaboration between Trax Audio and a number of uh, designers and manufacturers. Uh, we call this venture Audio Union. It's actually a separate company. And uh, the products uh, in Audio Union are manufactured at the Trax facilities, but they are designed by world-renowned names in their corresponding fields. This turntable was designed by Mark Dohman, and the tone arm on it is designed by Frank Schroeder. The specific thing about this turntable is that it solves an uh, issue that is very bothering for most turntable owners, which is footfall and vibrations that are transmitted through the floor and tables to the existing turntables. The turntable is very sensitive to vibrations. Any airborne vibration or structural vibration goes directly to the needle and cartridge system and so on, and it's translated to noise. And uh, here, the innovative thing is that we're using a system developed by a Californian company called Minus K for isolation of electron microscopes. We modified this system and customized it to a very, very low resonant frequency to support the turntable mechanism. So this turntable essentially floats in midair. I don't know if it's visible. And it has six degrees of freedom. It can move in any direction. Yet the resonant frequency is so low, it's below one hertz, that uh, the isolation from um, those external vibrations is uh, practically complete, something that hasn't been done before. This allows us to move the table under the turntable while it's playing, which is what happens at a microscopic level when you walk around or when the music is playing. When you have the bass thumping in the room, the floor gives in ever so slightly. All this goes back to your turntable and it creates a feedback loop. In our turntable there is no such thing. So the bass is tighter, the decay is faster, you get more clarity and the needle doesn't jump when you get close to your turntable. The other thing that is specific about it is the armboard system is suspended separately but you would need a close-up shot on this to see it. This isolates the armboard from vibrations that would be airborne. This is the impact of the sound 
it would hit the table. Usually the table is close to the speakers or system in the room. Very rarely you would have the turntable further away from your loudspeakers. So with this design we solved those two fundamental issues and we hope that uh, this would be appreciated by music lovers worldwide.